Hi everyone, today I'm talking to Gurke Mastemir. He's a sessional instructor in the Department of Economics in the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, but also at BD, in the BD School of Business. And he will be teaching, among others, the Econ 105 class, the principle of macroeconomics. Gurke, perhaps I could ask you first what you will be teaching in this class. So uh, Econ 105 is a very introductory level macroeconomics course. So in macroeconomics, uh, we work with uh, the living standards and in general, the, the economic uh, quantities of nations or countries, uh, because it is macro. Uh, so uh, in this class, we will learn like, how to measure, how to uh, quantify the living standards of a nation and like unemployment, jobs, prices, inflation, all those uh, names that you may not be familiar if you are not interested that you see on news, especially recently, and um, on newspapers. So we are going to be learning the basic introductory academics of, of macroeconomics. Perfect. Now, um, fall 2020 will be quite different from any other term. Um, can you let the students know a little bit how you will be teaching the course? Um, so in the beginning, uh, for the first maybe six, seven weeks, I will make it live. So I will not pre-record and let you watch beforehand. I want to also like have the interaction with uh, the students. So when, I, when we have synchronous sessions, when we have a live session, there's going to be a chance for us to meet and chat. So I want to have that for the first six, seven weeks at least. Uh, we are going to have our scheduled meetings. We are going to meet there and I will be... Uh, presenting my lecture, taking questions. We are gonna have some maybe discussions. And in the end, after that, depending on what we like, maybe I may try to like pre-record some um, parts of it, some um, like definitive, let's say a little bit boring parts of it to uh, save us time and give more time for us to discuss and in an interactive way, uh, learn together and use our time that we spend together more efficiently. But in the beginning for six, seven weeks, it is going to be a, uh, a live online session in which I hope uh, everyone is going to join, attend, and have fun. How will the students be able to interact with you or with your teaching assistants? Um, so during the classes, I'm always open. I will hold office hours, uh, which instead of an office, it's gonna like it's gonna happen through Zoom. Uh, and other than that, I am a very responsive uh, person for my emails. Of course, not at midnight, but like in most times, like even at midnight, I, I remember from my previous experience, I mostly respond to my emails quite uh, fast. So uh, students can always reach me through email. I will hold officers. My TAs are going to have uh, tutorials and they are going to be as responsive as they can to the emails. And I don't think it's going to be an issue for the students to have a chance to reach me. Will the exams or the assignments be any different from the other econ courses in other terms, since we are teaching remotely? Now the remote teaching um, provides opportunities and challenges, and grading and exams are the, the challenge part. So to overcome this issue as much as possible, I will have frequent short quiz-like uh, assignments so that... Um, we are going to have like 20 minutes, one or two question sessions, maybe every two weeks in the first three weeks, and then every week, maybe last six, seven weeks, so that uh, we are going to divide the grade to as much minor items as possible. So in this way, uh, first of all, it's going to be a continuous learning process. Uh, so uh, you will be related with uh, all 13 weeks of experience. So if you make a mistake in a midterm that is 35% of the grade, then you may be losing a major portion of your grade. But if you just make a mistake in like 5% quiz, you are not gonna be facing a major loss. Uh, so to avoid uh, the risks of making mistakes, like connection issues, time problems, etc., I'm gonna have multiple minor items to uh, measure your performance during the session, during the uh, 13 weeks. That is great to hear. Now, what would you tell a student, what are you yourself most excited about when you think about the upcoming class in the fall? Um, it has been some time for me to teach macroeconomics. It's my favorite topic. Like uh, my first teaching experience like four years ago was that. Um, 
and like I taught that class a number of times, the, the introductory macroeconomics class. So I'm happy to be teaching macroeconomics again. And I think the students will realize how much I like the subject so that I enjoy talking about it. Uh, when I enjoy talking about the subject, it's gonna be much less boring. And I can see that like watching someone, like, it's like on TV, on Zoom, like on, on an online portal, someone lecturing about the topic, it might be boring. So to prevent that, that I'll try to make it as much interactive as possible uh, to prevent uh, a boring session, right? I don't want it to be boring because I like it and I want my students to like it too. Um, so I'm kind of excited for the challenge. I, I like being in a classroom. Like I like teaching, like presenting the subject in a classroom. Uh, and I think uh, I would like to try to replicate that experience as much as possible uh, from my living room with the laptop. Any last advice, in fact, to the students, how they could potentially prepare themselves or how they can really well succeed in your class? Uh, it's not going to be a too difficult class. I think I can tell this for almost all introductory level of classes. What matters is that you keep up with it. Like if you miss one week, catch it, catch up next week. It mostly doesn't require too much of work. It just requires some attention and uh, continuity and in like somewhat self-discipline to follow the classes. And this term is gonna be mu much more self-discipline than like any other term in any other university because you will be like um, guiding your own studies mostly yourself. So uh, the best thing to have is a self-driven study discipline to uh, survive and cope with this strange term. And I hope as much as possible, maybe in spring, I hope things get back to normal. And if not spring next, fall maybe within one year of time i hope we can go back to classrooms and uh, uh, have that physical interaction again that is great i'm i'm certain that everybody's looking forward to going back into the classroom and mm -hmm. having the normal the normal ssu life again thank yes. you so much we are all looking forward in fact to this class 105 economics principle of macroeconomics